trees down, power down, another night of disruption in a winter of chaos. It is the third major storm this week, smashing its way in from the Atlantic this evening, leaving the southwest's already fractured railway even more broken. Inland, and this is supposed to be land, it whipped up the flood water on the Somerset levels. So this is a lounge. In East Ling, Georgina is the latest victim. For her, it's just been one deluge too many. I just can't believe that it's keeping on and on and on raining, and raining so hard as well. Um, and we're under now, never been flooded before. There's going to be, I don't know how many other properties. It's just ridiculous. Next door, Richard's now got 2,000 sandbags. But will it be enough? You can't beat nature, I don't suppose. If the water's going to rise that much, I'll lose the battle for the house. For many, though, the fight is finally over. The water ever wider, ever deeper. Just when you think things can't get any worse, just when you think the water can't get any higher, it does. Look, up to the door knocker here. That's the worst we've seen it during these weeks of flooding on the Somerset levels. Every day, still, new properties are being affected. Buffeted by wind and sprayed by rain, we headed to Gloucester. Badly flooded seven years ago, the new flood defences are holding up for now. But the weekend tides will be a challenge. Is this the river it's all making the Ayres family rather paranoid. They came to Gloucester for safety after their street in Surrey was flooded on Tuesday. Now their temporary home could go under as well. That's a bit surreal, isn't it? You know, the boys have been moved from one flood zone to the other, but they're taking it in their stride. Where next? Spain, I think, the sun. <laughs> yeah. No sunshine here yet. Just look at Newlyn in Cornwall tonight. Forecasters say after this storm we will get something of a break. But before that, a wild weekend. John Kay, BBC News.